Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last episode, Chris and I announced that we are a 501c3 nonprofit animal rescue and we have gone full force since then. We've literally been a nonprofit for the last five days and we've already uh, rescued a goose, um, which unfortunately had a very sad ending. And uh, we just took in today our first uh, surrender to the rescue. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Um, take a look at this. So young Savannah monitor, very skinny. So it looks like, uh, yeah, he's, he's very underweight. He's pretty alert though. Um, we were told he's not very friendly. He's been a complete sweetheart. We just got home with him. So we wanna feed him, we wanna get him warmed up and we wanna give him a bath. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna soak him in here. I have a nice warm bucket of water for him. So we're gonna make sure he's nice and hydrated. We're gonna put him in right now. Hey bud, nice and warm for you. Oh. You drinking? Is he? I think so. I don't know. Looks like he's drinking to me, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's like really oh, he's, thirsty. Oh, he's chugging water. Oh my God. Oh, wow, okay. Should I zoom in? Oh, uh, I think everyone can see. Zoomed in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can actually see the uh, neck muscles moving there as he is chugging down that water. Wow. You can see him gulping. I'm gonna try to warm him up and get him hydrated. So definitely skinny. I've seen worse. He's pretty alert, which is a good sign. He can lift his head up, which is a good sign. Um, you know, and if you need help with an animal, there is no shame in asking a rescue to take your animal. You know, um, we don't want to see animals suffer because people are embarrassed to ask for help. And we really want to create a rescue in a community where nobody feels like they're being shamed or guilted. Um, we don't want anyone to feel embarrassed. If you need help with an animal, reach out, reach out to somebody, reach out to us. We'll do our best to help you um, because we definitely don't want to see animals suffer. So he's still drinking. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Should we let him drink that much? I mean, he's, he's really. He is chugging. Well, let's I don't want him let's to drink uh that much. well yeah, we don't want him to drink too much cuz we want to feed him. Oh, well, also I I don't want him to like throw it up, you know. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to pull him out for a sec and let's try to get him to eat. Okay. And then we can we can offer more water in a little bit. Okay, let's just hey. I don't even know if he's going to eat, honestly. Let's put him in here for now. Well, let's we'll definitely him, try. We'll put him back in here. We got him a heat lamp. We set up a little quarantine spot for him. I don't know if he's going to eat. I don't know if he just um wasn't fed i don't know if there's something going on like parasites i don't know if he has something else maybe underlying but let's see if he'll eat for us i know a lot of people's first thought when they see an animal like this is power feed it feed it as much as you can we don't want to do that we don't want to overwhelm his, his system just like we did with TikTok the ball python we're going to start slow so i'm going to start with a little pinky mouse we're going to see if he's interested in that it's already frozen guys uh if you don't want to see it just skip ahead a little bit but and this box is what he was brought in and he's already comfortable with so we're going to try to feed him in there but obviously he's not going to be staying in this box oh he's interested oh yeah he's going to eat wow there you go this is a this is a really good sign yeah oh he's yeah look at him a really good sign so maybe he just needs some some tlc It's already dead, buddy. You don't have to kill it. <laughs> Just eat it. I don't think he understands. Yeah, I think he's still trying to trying to kill it there. Whole prairie is gonna be really good for him. We're also trying to order some carnivore care for him. I'd watch your finger. 
fingers crossed. Your fingers are yeah, super close to you. I'm good. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, he's uh, trying to work it down. I just don't think he understands. Yeah, he's kind of goofy. I think he thinks he's still trying to kill it. He might also have some metabolic bone disease. Maybe his mouth doesn't open all the way. Uh, I think it, it looks does. looks like it does. Yeah. He's just trying to figure it out. We're almost there. No, he's, he's going to get there. Hey, bud. Yeah, he's alert for, for being so thin, you know? Oh, there it is. There it is. He's got it now. Good job, buddy. I mean, do you think we should just give him a second one? That's a pretty small meal or just start Well, with no, today. I would stick with just one, okay. just that. I mean, you have to imagine the size of that inside of his belly right now is like this. I mean, that's a big portion of his body mass right now. So okay. we should let him digest that and get uh, some heat on him and let him work that in, you know? Definitely. What a little sweetheart. really see his hip bones. He has no fat or muscle whatsoever on his tail. Looks like maybe a little bit of st stuck shed. Um, these guys make awesome, um, I don't want to say pets, but yeah, pets when you take care of them properly, they usually have a really sweet temperament. And this guy's a sweetheart. But of course, um, they need a lot of space. They need very high heat. The basking spot should be in the hundreds, which it's not always easy to do. I also notice it looks like, I don't know if it's hair or substrate coming out of the cloaca look. I can't get that out. Mm. So hopefully he's not impacted. Hopefully he can like poop normally. Yeah. I'm gonna put him in the water one more time, let him get a drink, and then I'm gonna put him in his little quarantine enclosure. There you go, but it's nice and warm for you. I'm getting TikTok flashbacks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> TikTok the ball plate, huh? He's immediately chugging water. Yeah. Okay. He's super thirsty. So we're gonna go ahead and move him into a quarantine enclosure right now, which is this is aquarium. It's got a pretty simple setup in here. Um, so, you know, again, this is just kind of a quarantine setup. There you go, buddy right underneath the heat lamp here. So we can get all nice and heated up. Looks better already, look at them. I think this guy's gonna do well, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely think he's got some uh, Potential here. So, yeah, it's a pretty good probability for success. You know, um, he's looking great. He's got a good attitude. He's lively, chugging water, down in that food. I think he's gonna do great. Well, he's looking at the cricket. <laughs> There's a cricket in there left over. So as a rescue, our current plan is to rehab and rehome him. And so we're going to get him back up to good health and then uh, adopt him out. You know, that's the plan right now. And, you know, we also want to say thank you to everybody that sent us a bunch of things off our Amazon wish list. So that's been really, really helpful. We got a ton of packages today of all kinds of things that are going to help us in rescuing and rehabbing animals. So we're very, very thankful for everyone who helped us out with that. So you see, he's moving right up underneath the lamp and getting all high and, and really enjoying it. You know, you can see that. He looks very happy. You know, we also just want to reiterate again how important it is that if you do have an animal that is not doing well and it's outside of your capabilities, there's no shame in surrendering that animal to a rescue to get the help that the animal needs. We do not want to villainize or have a witch hunt after people who like took care of him or anything like that. Like, oh my God, how did somebody do this to this poor guy? We don't want to do that. You know, we want to try to help these animals out. We don't want people to feel bad for coming forward with an animal to do what's best for the animal. You know, you never want to be like, 
oh, thank you for that being brave enough to put yourself in a potentially embarrassing animal or a potentially embarrassing situation by bringing this animal in and then be like, thank you. Now you're a horrible person. We don't want to do that. You know, we want to do what's best for the animal. And so anybody out there who does have an animal is not doing well. You know, it's always in the animal's best interest to try to surrender that to a rescue or rehab facility to try to get the animal back on its feet. You know, we understand how it is. Some people buy animals impulsively. Some people are busy with school. You know, some people just don't have the funds with COVID. Like we understand it's hard and we created this rescue to help people and to help animals. So yeah. definitely reach out to us. And if we can't help you, we will do our best to find you a resource that can help you. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Please share. And then also please check out our new Instagram page for the rescue, Florida's Wildest Animal Rescue. And from that page, you can see the links on how to donate and how to contact us and everything like that. So we want a huge thank you to everybody who's helped us out so far. We're excited to expand our rescue efforts, and we're going to be giving you updates on this guy right here. And we're looking forward to see what happens next.